We believe we are really close. Really close. Some positive news out of Germantown tonight. City officials addressing the public in a second pre-recorded YouTube video giving the latest update on the city water crisis. They say if all continues on this path, some areas could begin using their water again as soon as tomorrow. WREG's Ashley Paul joins us now live at Germantown City Hall with the latest from the city. And what is it, Ashley? We still don't have the all clear Steph, but we do have a bit of an update from Germantown city officials and residents are saying finally after almost a week of very limited information. Cindy Carmack came out to Collierville for dinner tonight since she hasn't been able to use her own kitchen in almost a week. It's not easy to prepare food at home when you can't have water, you can't wash the dishes, you can't wash the vegetables, you can't do anything. So today's update, she says, is welcome, but long overdue. The information provided is so vague that nobody feels like they are given information that they can actually use other than you can pick up water from four to seven at Forest Hill Elementary School and the traffic's really bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, thanks. Germantown City Administrator Jason Heisman updated the public today through another pre-recorded YouTube video. We requested to be present to ask our own questions, but were denied access. Our preliminary findings indicate that an overflow of diesel fuel occurred on Wednesday during the generator refueling process and that this was a single event. Heisman explains a small hole was found in an underground pipe, which is how the diesel was entering the water system. He says since that breach has been fixed, they've been receiving clear results. If all goes according to plan, the answer to when the order will be lifted to commence service line flushing is that for some areas, it could be as soon as tomorrow with good test results and TDEC concurrence. Still though, some say it will take time to rebuild the trust in city leaders. At this point, credibility is gone. Somebody is going to have to work real hard to reestablish some credibility because now if you put out a produced video, that just means people are like, why won't you take questions? Why do I believe what you are preparing and saying ahead of time in a very contained situation? Now, in preparation for residential flushing, the city is asking people to turn off their irrigation systems until further notice. Now, we want to just make this abundantly clear that this water advisory has still not been lifted quite yet, and the city has extended their water giveaways until Sunday at the very earliest. For now, reporting live in Germantown, I'm Ashley Paul, WREG News Channel 3.